To learn about key distribution, let's consider another example of a very special situation. This time, the channel has the property that Eve actually gets all the bits. However, we will assume that Eve is limited. In particular, Eve, who maybe got tired from intercepting keys all the time, has a limited memory. She can only store m bits. The question is, can Alice and Bob still produce any key? Let's consider again what happens if we exchange only one bit. Alice chooses a random bit x and sends it over to Bob. So Bob has the same bit as Alice has. But now, of course, also Eve gets the bit perfectly. Thankfully, we know that Eve has a lousy memory. In particular, remember by the property of the min entropy, we know that the min entropy of x given e is never smaller than the min entropy of just x minus the log of the dimension of e. In our case, this means that it's never larger than the min entropy of x minus m, where m is the number of bits that Eve can store. So x here is a random bit, so the min entropy of a random bit is just 1. So you can see that for one bit we would only have some positive min entropy, or some chance to produce key, if m was 0. But let's now again have a look what happens if we do this many times? What would be the protocol? The protocol actually does not change at all. We run exactly the same protocol as before, but now we have to argue in a different way that Eve's min entropy is large. Eve's min entropy is now given as follows. Min entropy of x given e is ne never smaller than the min entropy of x minus log of the size of e. So that's the same as note the min entropy of a uniformly random string. Because <coughs> Alice chooses all of these strings with equal probability. has the property that min entropy is n minus the number of bits that Eve can store, which is m. And now, as before, if I want epsilon secrecy for some fixed epsilon, we get that the number of bits of key that we can produce is determined by this min entropy minus order log 1 on epsilon if we want epsilon secrecy. You see now that in both of these scenarios, the property of the special channel, or the property of Eve having a lousy memory, gave us a guarantee about the min entropy. This allowed us to turn a string x, that we will also call the raw key, into a proper key k using randomness extractors. We will see later that the idea behind quantum key distribution protocols is very similar. Only there, we will not have to rely on some strange guarantee that gives us some a bound on Eve's min entropy. Instead, we will be able to measure the min entropy using the properties of quantum mechanics.